All right, how we doing tonight? How's Monday treating you? Eh, maybe not too badly, right? Since we're mostly working from home, hopefully not too badly. Um, okay, we have got a couple of different breaks tonight. We're going to do a pair of multi-sport autographed jerseys, and then we'll follow that up with a case of Inception Baseball. And, of course, as we normally do, we're going to go over a bit of information before we actually start ripping into things. So let's get on with that while we're waiting on everybody to get in the room here tonight. So my feedback is automated. Anytime you leave positive feedback for me, you are instantly going to get positive feedback in return. What's better than that, right? No waiting and you get feedback, I get feedback, everybody's happy. And the second thing there, of course, is to say thank you. Always appreciate you being here, bidding, breaking, chatting, and hanging out with me. We're going to take a look next at what is coming up in the days ahead. So these breaks are already up and running on eBay and available for bidding now. We're going to be breaking them over the course of the next few days. So tomorrow night we're going to break a Gold Rush autographed full-size football helmet. And we've broken those in the past, but this will be the first one that we've done from 2020. And we're going to open a half case of Gypsy Queen baseball. That is actually going to be the start of a new case. The numbering's off on that particular break. So it's the opposite of what it would normally be. So the even numbers are the start of a case. The odd numbers are the back end of a case where Gypsy Queen is concerned. On Wednesday night, we'll open a 2020 Leaf Autograph baseball bat. And we're going to open three 2019 Game Changers autographed baseballs and a five-box case of 2020 TriStar Game Day Greats autographed football jerseys. On Thursday night, we're going to finish up that Gypsy Queen case that we start on Tuesday. We will finish it on Thursday. On Friday night, we're going to start a tad bit early, not much, but 8.30 Eastern, 5.30 Pacific. And that is because we've got a pair of new releases. I know, right? We weren't really expecting any, and yet we're going to get some. So Definitive Baseball, we're going to break that by the full case. Of course, that's a very high-end product. Most of you are probably familiar with it. And then we'll open Leaf Flash Baseball. Both of those will be done by the full case. On Saturday night, it's an off night. We will probably try to break on Sunday, even though I'm trying to conserve product by taking off a couple of days a week. We may break some football on Sunday because the draft will be done by then, and we may jump into some, I don't know, Leaf Draft or Leaf Ultimate or maybe even some Prism football, uh, Prism Draft picks. We'll, we'll figure out something probably for Sunday. So here's what you need to know shipping-wise. So the multi-sport jerseys, if you're lucky enough to hit one of those two jerseys, you can expect it to be out the door and on the way to you no later than Monday the 27th, a week from today. Free shipping stuff is always like that, just meaning it will go out somewhere within the next seven days. If you are in that jersey break and you get skunked and you are not the jersey pulled, then you are entitled to a consolation trading card. It can be from any year in any series. And I do keep track of it for a rolling 90-day period. Normally, on a free shipping break, I would hang on to that consolation card and send it with your next package. If you want it sooner, hit me up with a message. Let me know. I'll take care of it for you. Our paid shipping break tonight is Inception Baseball. That should be out the door and on the way to you approximately Friday. As always, that stuff is plus or minus a day, so it could go a little earlier, could go a day later. Right now, my best estimate is Friday. And if you get skunked in Inception Baseball, your consolation card or cards will go ahead and ship out with the rest of the break since that one is a paid shipping break. So first up, our pair of 2019 Leaf Multisport autographed jerseys. This is break number 12. Everything that we are opening tonight ended tonight on eBay Monday night, the 20th of April. You've got, uh, of course, spots here sold by the first letter. I say last name, but it's the name on the jersey. But, you know, usually that is the last name. And, of course, winning bidders cross from each team there. If you are here for Inception Baseball, please don't wander too far off this jersey break. Whoa, uh -oh. this jersey break is only going to take us a couple of minutes to complete. And then we'll be moving onward into inception so i'm going to change up the focus here a little bit you will see that your background is getting a little bit blurry that's intentional please don't sweat that we're still going to be able to see what we need to see and more 
All right, that's right. Jay Allen is here. Hi, Jay Allen and Stang Lover. <laughs> Says, ooh la la, Friday. <laughs> I know, right? I was so happy when they told me last week we were getting those because they had previously said, of course, not to expect any new releases until maybe even sometime in May. So I was super happy to get those two. And, oh, this is a nice one. And then um, I asked again today if anything else was in the pipeline. They said no, not yet. Anyway, so we've got the Greek Freak. Very nice. Giannis Antetokounmpo. So that goes to the letter A. And they got a bargain and a half tonight hitting this. It is Beckett Authenticated. There is the paperwork. There is your Beckett Authentication sticker. And more importantly, there's your autograph for Giannis, the Greek freak. So, woohoo! How about that? Letter A. I like it. I like it. I like it. Um, Stang Lover says for future references, Ichiro, an S or an I. He's an I, unless the jersey said Suzuki on it, which it wouldn't. It would say Ichiro, in which case it would go to the letter I. It's always going to go to the first letter of the name on the jersey. But, you know, if you try to write that in the title on eBay, it doesn't fit. <laughs> so, yeah. But, yeah, Ichiro would go to the eyes. Unless, again, unless his jersey said Suzuki, which I've never seen one that says that. Next out is Josh Gordon, and that is, of course, our letter G. It is also Beckett Authenticated. There is your sticker. There's your Josh Gordon signature, and there is your little Beckett paper COA that's tied to the sticker. So our jerseys tonight, one goes to the G for the Josh Gordon, and the other one, this sweet little bad boy here, is the Greek Freak. It heads to the, Mil oh, it doesn't head to the Milwaukee Bucks, it heads to, to the A's for Anta Tacumpo. I'm just used to, you know, saying the team, so whoops. <laughs> All right, so that answers that question. Look, those boxes got little stuff everywhere, didn't they? Oh, man. It's the where I, you know, you open them and all those little pieces of cardboard fall off there. I hate that. So Inception Baseball is coming up next. We did have one team that was unpaid. I don't know if we still do. I'm going to go look. And while I'm looking at that, I'm going to leave you looking at this. I read through it earlier. I won't read through it all again right now. But if you missed me reading it out loud earlier or summarizing it out loud, please take a minute, review it, hit me up with any questions. And it looks like we do have an unpaid team in here because we couldn't have been so lucky as to have a day that didn't have one. And that is the Angels here in Inception that are currently unpaid. It looks like they ended at $100 on eBay. $100 even, imagine that. So if anyone is interested in picking up the Angels, please let me know. Meanwhile, I'm going to bring you back to me for a second. And I need to go do a little editing, don't I? Yes, I do. I gotta edit our spreadsheet to reflect that that is unpaid. So give me one second here to get that done. And we will get <clears throat> that squared away. And so if anybody wants um, to know, any, not to know, if anybody <laughs> wants to pick up this spot, let me know, please, in chat for the Angels, the in Inception Baseball. That's the one that we're stuck with at the at the momento that is setting unpaid. All right, so you've heard me go through this before. You've seen it up on the screen a couple times now. Hit me up if you have any questions about it. Otherwise, um, yeah, you should know. We're good to go, right? Yeah, I think we are. <laughs> And this is going to be a 16-box case of 2020 Inception Baseball. It's full case break. It's break number seven. Also ended tonight on eBay, Monday night, the 20th of April. We've got team names there on the left-hand side, winning bidders across from on the opposite side. And, of course, the Angels sitting in here unpaid, not seeing anybody uh, asking for them in chat. So my assumption is then that I guess no one is interested in the angels in here. Is that a correct assumption? <laughs> so otherwise, everybody else is going to see their name across from their team. 
And um, you know what? I have just had one of those days. It's just been, actually it's not even just today. I don't know. Last couple of weeks have just been just not pleasant. Today falls into that category. So I'm not even in the mood to like sit here and try to figure out what's going to happen with the angels. So if nobody wants them, then I'll just take the loss and on we go. If somebody does want them now, speak now or forever hold your peace. Let me get, boy, let's get in here and see what we've got. So this is a one pack per box product. You know what? There's got to be a better way to do this. And what we're going to do is get all of these boxes out of here first. Then I'm going to get all of the packs, ha, 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 all the packs out of the individual boxes. And then we'll start seeing what's inside each pack. But that's usually the way I do it on products that just have one pack or so, one or two packs in a box. We usually just extract all of our packs first. Phil's here. Hi, Phil. And who, oh, hi. I'm going to call you PJ. It says uh, PJ, maybe Pedden, Peden. But I'm just going to go with PJ so I don't butcher your username all night. So <laughs> PJ and J. Allen both answered Phil's question. So thank you each for that. Appreciate it. And this is our last case of Inception, I do believe. I'm pretty sure there's no more of it downstairs. I always say there's no more, but I actually have a couple of places I keep product. And every once in a while, I find something tucked away. But I don't think there's any more. I'll be surprised if we find more. And I tried to buy some more, actually, a couple weeks ago. And I thought the price was high then. <laughs> Now the price has gone up, oh, considerably, even from a couple of weeks ago. So we won't be buying any on the secondary market either. Because the prices are up quite dramatically, really on everything. You cannot buy anything secondary market right now that hasn't increased exponentially in the last couple of weeks. Because, of course, everybody's got a finite amount of product on hand, everybody that breaks. And now they're scrambling, looking for stuff to break. So they go buy it from the distributors. And then the distributors are like, oh, look, our demand's going way up. Let's raise our prices. Oh, let's raise them again. Let's raise them four or five times in a week. <laughs> so that's been the fun. So thank goodness. I usually have a little back stock of various stuff around here. So we still have enough to keep us busy for a little while anyway. Cardboard Chasers is here. Hi, Cardboard. Maybe I should call you Chasers. Do you like that better? Hi, Chasers. I don't know. Jay Allen, you need a couple of hits in here. All right, my friend. Let's see if we can find you a couple of hits in here. I will do my best. I guess I've got some skin in the game, too, right? Since the Angels didn't pay, so and nobody else is buying them. So, hey. You never know. I might pull something tonight for the first time in a long time. You just never know. Jay Allen says you've had no luck in here this far. You mean in the product inception, I'm assuming? Yeah, it's obviously it's a little harder because there's only the one hit per pack, usually. Sometimes we have that bonus pack, which will have one extra hit in it. But typically... It's just one hit per pack. Not counting the parallels, of course, but I'm talking about autograph or relic. So it does make it a little harder because even though it's a full case, there are not nearly as many hits in here as there are in full cases of some other products. So, But it's a fun set. I look forward to it every year. I always like it. And generally, we would open more than we did this year because what happens is I normally break through what I have on hand and then I just go buy some more. And generally, the price will have gone up a few hundred dollars a case, but nothing you can't live with. But that wasn't the case this year for everybody. Not as many people were selling it and then the ones that were were really asking a lot of money. So there you go. We got what we've got and that's all we can do. Okay. So, 
let's get ourselves underway here. I'm going to get a little pack of both sizes. It's hard to say both flavors. <laughs> oh, let's try that again. <laughs> of both sizes of sleeves on the table. And now we're ready to go. See what we can find. All right. Spencer's, yeah, the jerseys were for the G and the A. Um, it was uh, the Greek Freak and Josh Gordon. And I think probably, I believe I saw Jay Allen type that in chat up there somewhere, uh, scrolling upwards too. So this is Walker Bueller. It is the Dodgers purple numbered to 150. We're going to find two parallels in each pack. Sometimes they're numbered and sometimes like this one, the green ones, they are not numbered. So they are parallels nonetheless, but unnumbered. And that one, of course, uh, Austin Nola for the Mariners. Then we're going to have our base cards. There are four or five of those in each pack. So we've got the Cincinnati Reds, the Orioles, the Nationals, and the Diamondbacks. And our very first hit of the night, imagine that, it's an Oakland A. I know you're shocked. That is numbered to 50. It's the orange parallel, Sean Murphy and the Oakland A's. And then, of course, um, let me just remind everyone that most of these cards are not going to come out, <clears throat> one, excuse me, 100% perfect. Many of them will have minor issues, not major issues, but minor issues. This is the Angels in Mike Trout with the green parallel. And then we have an orange parallel numbered to 50, Francisco Lindor for the Indians. So we had somebody earlier in the week who's not done a lot of breaks and they were like super disappointed and that's the Indians, the Padres, the A's, and the Red Sox because one of their cards had, you know, a minor factory imperfection on it. So just a reminder, guys, most cards have minor factory imperfections on them. Hunter Harvey to 245 for the Orioles. And I'm going to point out the more extreme stuff, but not necessarily all the super minor stuff. So... Ooh, a red one. No, not a red. Yes, a red one. But I'm thinking, you know what I think when I see tops red, I always think, oh, yeah, it's numbered to 10 or it's numbered to 5. And this said it's not. It's numbered to 75. So I got myself all excited there for no good reason. That's Chris Bryant to 75 in the red parallel. And then we've got a green Bryce Harper for the Phillies. Of course, we know the green ones are unnumbered. And then we've got some base. Astros, Angels, Mariners, and Rockies. Hey, hey, my Cincinnati Reds. You got a nice one. Number to 100, it is Nick Senzel. So whoever has the Reds tonight, I'm going to admit it. I'm slightly jealous. I like that card. <laughs> That's a nice one. Jay Allen, you said you have five of the green ones. For Bryce Harper, yeah, the green ones are very plentiful, generally speaking. Oh, I see PJ, you had offered, or, or Phil, rather, had offered 35 for the Angels. Yeah, sorry, guys, I'm not going to not gonna sell the Angels for 35 versus the versus the $100 eBay bid, so sorry about that. But I appreciate the offer. Giancarlo Stanton, green parallel for the Yankees, and then numbered to 99, we have the Hot Pink variety, Bobby Bradley and the Cleveland Indians. I mean, who knows? Maybe I'll get lucky and the original bidder will pay. Um, or it might be that they're watching right now. And if they don't hit what they want, what they want, they won't pay. But we don't know, do we? As the Braves, the White Sox, the Mets, and the Brewers. Austin Nola and the Seattle Mariners. Good looking relic and signature, of course, number 275 for Austin Nola and Seattle. But yeah, it's very rare that I just let a team go entirely because, nine, well, at least 90% of the time you don't ever get paid for it if they haven't paid you by the time the break starts. 
So usually I resell them, but as I said, it's just been one of those days. I didn't feel like trying to spend 20 minutes doing it. That is to 150 Nico for the Cubbies. And then we have the green parallel here for Alex Bregman and the Astros. The Yankees, Tigers, Yankees, and Rays. Ooh, Reds. This is a Cincinnati Reds case, buds. Ooh, look at that. Number to 50, it is the orange parallel of Aristides Aquino. So Aquino and Senzel in the same case. Oh, that's making me happy. Of course, those aren't my cards, but I get to see them for a couple of days till I ship them out, so it does make me happy. DJ LeMayhew, green unnumbered for the Yankees. And then the Nationals have a green Patrick Corbin. And here we go with some base. It's the A's, Angels, Angels, Padres. Oh, what a case we are having. <laughs> oh, it's a red Beau Bichette. Number to 75. Of course, I'm more excited about this case than everybody else because of the two reds. But everybody's got to appreciate that hit. That's a nice hit. Beau Bichette, red to 75 for the Blue Jays. Cardboard Chaser says the big red machine is rolling. They are rolling tonight in this break, aren't they? You never see two reds come out of a case of this. You're lucky if you see one anywhere. <laughs> reds are not super popular in most Topps products. Zach Collins, green parallel for the White Sox. And here come the Texas Rangers with a purple parallel to 150 with Nick Solak. And we have base for the A's, Yankees, Phillies, and Indians. Our hit is Michael Chavez. Very nice. Numbered to 99, headed to Boston. The Red Sox taking home one. Our green parallels, it is Acuna for the Braves and the Colorado Rockies with Nolan Arenado. Followed by some base for Phillies, Indians, Astros, and Mets. Oh, look at that. Blue Jays, you had the Beau Bichette. Now you're going to add a patch autograph flag Guerrero Jr. to your collection. Number to 155. So Toronto having a nice break. And not an abundance of Oakland A's. So, so far, well, this has been one of our more reasonably distributed cases. For the Red Sox, that is number 299. We have an unnumbered green parallel for the Dodgers with Walker Bueller. We've got the Red Sox, the A's, the Marlins, and the Cardinals. And how about another nice rookie hit? Dustin May, numbered to 99 for the Dodgers. So some very nice stuff coming out of here. Out of our last case of Inception, it was worth the wait, I guess. The green parallel for the Tigers. Demerit, maybe. I'm not sure how you pronounce his last name. And a blue parallel. First one of those we've seen tonight. That is Sam Hilliard for the Colorado Rockies. The blue parallels in here are numbered to 25. So low, low, low. How low can you go? The Rockies, Royals, Dodgers, and Cubbies. And then look at that. Back-to-back -back Dodgers hits. Tony Gonzalez to 245. So you got a pair of Dodgers out there right on top of another. Cardboard says that's your favorite red-headed love child. <laughs> You're talking about Dustin May, I'm sure. Yeah. And now the Walker Bueller rainbow. Oh, were you working on the rainbow? Well, cool. AJ Puck for the Oakland A's green. And a green Jose Ramirez for the Indians. We've got A's, White Sox, Indians, and Blue Jays. Our hit happens to head to the Mets this time with Jeff McNeil. 
and it is numbered up here in the top upper right corner one of the few that's numbered on the back and it is numbered <coughs> excuse me it is numbered 290 for the Mets got a couple of green parallels here um, there's an example of one you can see some minor stuff going on on those corners Carlos Correa for the Astros and then the Blue Jays and Anthony K. Our base is Cubbies, Rangers, Dodgers, and Giants. Another Dodgers hit. This might be my favorite one of the night. Gavin Lux, number to 25, is a fantastic hit for the Dodgers, who were already on fire. You add Gavin Lux to that. Dodgers are winning the break at this moment. Padres and Michael Baez, green parallel unnumbered. And then we've got a green Dubon for the Giants. We have got a little base for Mariners, Orioles, Padres, Astros. And here come the Padres with Andreas Munoz. For San Diego, numbered to 155. John says it's been a great case except for him. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that's terrible. I hate it when somebody doesn't have any luck because I've been on your side of the fence. It's not fun. And here is a red Munoz, numbered 275. Once again, that's the Padres. A green unnumbered Alvarez, Jordan Alvarez, for the Houston Astros. And base cards belong to Dodgers, Cubs, Cardinals, and Rangers. Then we've got a hit for the Indians with Bobby Bradley. That is a blue parallel, numbered 225. And we got two left, two left. All right, for the Padres, numbered to 99, it is Mr. Tatis. A green, unnumbered Francisco Lindor for the Indians. The base heads to Padres, Tigers, Astros, Diamondbacks. And we've got another hit for the Tigers, Jake Rogers this time. So Detroit coming on strong here towards the end, numbered to 155, which brings us to our last box. Right now, we're calling for a little last box mojo. Let's see what we can find in here. All right, there is a green Seth Brown for the Oakland A's. The Diamondbacks have our other green, and that's Leba or something like that. Maybe not exactly that pronunciation, but, well, <laughs> we know how I am with that, don't we? Dodgers, Twins, Astros, and Nationals, the base. And our very last hit happens to be another Michael Chavez. This one is the red parallel to 75, but that heads to the Red Sox, to the Boston Red Sox. So I bet we can officially assume I will not get paid for the Angels, can't we? I think we can. <laughs> I would be shocked if I get paid for it. Of course, you know, you never know. Stranger things and all. But, but anyway, we are going to recap a few things here. And after we recap, I'll put spreadsheet information up there again. First, we're going to go through our green parallels. All these, of course, are unnumbered. So, Diamondbacks, A's, Indians, Astros. Well, I don't need to read all those off. You guys can see them as they go through there. So, we don't have to, we don't have to bore you with reading all that off a second time. We'll just whiz through them here. Then we'll take a look next at our numbered hits that don't have autographs attached. And then finally, we'll look at our autograph and relic cards. Numbered to 25, Colorado Rockies. Numbered to 75, the Padres. Also numbered to 75, the Cubbies. Numbered to 50, we've got the Indians. 
to 99. It is the Padres, 99 the Red Sox, and 99 the Indians. To 150, you've got the Rangers, the Cubbies, and the Dodgers. Now our stack of hits, a Michael Chavez, number to 75 for the Red Sox. That's one of two. We'll see if him before we get done recapping. To 155, that's the Tigers. We've got a blue to 25 for the Indians with Bobby Bradley. Number to 155, Munoz for the Padres. Number to 25, this is a sweet little hit right there, Gavin Lux for the Dodgers. The Mets, that is numbered to 90, and it has Jeff McNeil on it. Another Dodger to 245, and another Dodger. This one is numbered to 99. Lots of Dodgers. To 155, Vlad Guerrero Jr. and the Toronto Blue Jays. There's your other Michael Chavez. It's also numbered to 99. I don't remember that. So, yeah, both your both your Chavez were numbered then, so that worked out well. Number 275, it is Bo Bichette for the Blue Jays. My man, Aristides Aquino, numbered to 50 for my Cincinnati Reds in the orange parallel. Number 275, it is Austin Nola for the Mariners. My Cincinnati Reds to 100, Nick Senzel. The Baltimore Orioles to 245, it's Hunter Harvey. And first out, first one we saw tonight, numbered to 50, was Sean Murphy for the Oakland A's. So there you go, kids. That happens to be um, our case of Inception, and I think our last case of Inception. I don't think I have any more of it. Not that I know of, anyway, so we went out with a bang, at least. Now, let's take a little spin through the spreadsheet info one more time for anybody who missed it earlier. Here's what it looks like. If you hit one of the jerseys, you can expect it to be out the door and on the way to you approximately. Well, I won't even say approximately. I'll say sometime within the next seven days. So it may go out to you sooner than that, but it won't go any later than that. If you were in the jersey break and you got skunked and you are not the person that hit a jersey, you can um, still expect a consolation card, but because it's a free shipping break, I normally would just hang on to that and send it to you the next time you have a package shipping out. I do keep track of it for a rolling 90-day period, but if you want it sent sooner by itself, plain white envelope and stamp kind of scenario, you just send me a message on eBay and let me know and I'll take care of that for you. Our paid shipping breaks tonight, of course, that's the Inception Baseball that we just completed. Should be out the door and on the way approximately Friday. As always, those dates are plus or minus a day, as you see there in the uh, written description. So it could possibly go a little earlier, could possibly go a little later. Friday's my best estimate. And if you got skunked in Inception, meaning you did not hit a card of any sort, base or otherwise, you can still uh, expect to get something in the mail. It would have consolation card or cards in your package, and it would go ahead and ship out when the rest of the break goes out the door. And here's what it looks like in the days ahead. This stuff is already listed on eBay, and we're going to be breaking it over the course of the next few days. So tomorrow night, it's a 2020 Gold Rush autographed full-size football helmet and a half case of Gypsy Queen baseball. On Wednesday, we're going to break Leaf autographed baseball bat, three TriStar Game Changers autographed baseballs, and a five-box case of TriStar uh, Game Day Greats autographed football jersey. So it's an all-memorabilia night on Wednesday night. Thursday night, we're going to finish up that case of Gypsy Queen baseball that we start on Tuesday. We'll finish it on Thursday. Friday night, we do have a couple of new releases heading our way, and we're going to bust into them both by the case on Friday night. That's Definitive Baseball and Leaf Flash Baseball. And we will start a tad bit early at 8.30 Eastern, which is 5.30 Pacific time. And then Saturday will be an off night, and then we'll figure out the rest after that, I guess. So, um, yep, I guess that has got us wrapped up for tonight. As always, I appreciate you being here. Thank you very much for joining me. 
I hope that you have a great week ahead. And if I don't see you again tomorrow night, please do come back and see me sometime soon. In the meantime, stay safe, stay healthy, stay indoors, and we will see you the next time. Bye now. Or it should be stay home, I guess. Not really stay indoors. You can go outside. Just don't go, like, wandering around where there's thousands of people. <laughs> I think that's the moral of the story. <laughs> All right. Bye.